Hello, this is Bern. And if you found yourself in the excruciating situation where the guy you're with, the guy you love, can't commit, I'm going to show you today how you can turn this around once and for all. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious and ambitious women how you can attract the kind of man you want and relationship into your life by being your best and most feminine self. Now, if you are like many of the women who reach out for help, you've either been in the situation or might be even facing the situation, hence the reason why you chose to watch my video. <laughs> and that's the guy that you're with, the guy that you love, the guy you've invested time, energy, attention, gifts, holidays with, doesn't want to move forward, is stuck, is inconsistent with the vision that you have for the life that you want, for the family, for the marriage, for everything that comes with it. So I'm going to start by sharing that there's going to be predominantly three types of guys you're going to encounter in this world. First one will be a guy who has the consciousness and the willingness and the yearning for commitment and he's going to, he, there's not much you have to do if the relationship is right for him to move things forward and ask for your hand in marriage. Now, let's face it, if that were your situation, you wouldn't be watching this, so let's eliminate that from the present uh, options. There's two more options for you right now if you're still watching this. One, a guy who isn't thrilled about committing, but will commit if the conditions are right, and the guy who no matter what happens, he's going to choose his own independence, his freedom, his selfishness from commitment. Nothing wrong with it, it's just the type of guy that you don't want to be with if you want long-term commitment, right? So the first one is identifying, is your dude the kind of guy who might be resisting it but will show up and step up, or the kind that will be the forever George Clooney before he met his wife, <laughs> you know? Uh, that's the question. Now, something else that comes to mind that I have to share with you is I have received the complaint by women, especially around commitment issues and other things. I, I just don't understand why men can get away with blank. Why the men get away with playing for this long and then not committing? Like, why does this happen? And I'm here to turn this back on you, not that to exclude the responsibility of men, because they have, we have our own share. I'm gonna share this to empower you because you can't control the way they think you can influence, but you can't control it, but you can definitely control what you do and how you show up. The reason men, specifically in the area of commitment, can be with a woman for five years and not commit is because women allow it. Women allow that type of shit. If you were to stop that, guys would either have to step up or step down, which is my message to you today. I'm going to share with you, instead of saying, well, how do I make him commit, which is a bullshit concept to begin with, because you can't make anyone commit. You can't twist their arm. You don't want to manipulate them into commitment because then they'll find out that they were and then they'll hate you for it. You want to either inspire them to step up or step down. So I'm going to share with you, for you to get the commitment that you want with a man, with a principle that men get away with stuff because people allow it, in this case women, I want to make sure that you commit to five things in this lifetime if you want to get the deepest commitment from a man. First commitment I'm going to ask you to make for yourself. And it's not a wish, it's not a hope, it's not I'm going to try it, it's a commitment. The commitment to not settling for less than you're willing to give. What does this mean? That if you're willing to give someone a life of commitment, you should expect the same from a man that is going to spend your time, energy, and affection. If you're willing to be monogamous, that you expect for him to be monogamous. That, that you're not asking for more than you're willing to give, but you're not asking for less either, right? Failure to commit to not settling means that you will settle. So this one, without this one, none of the other ones are possible. Next commitment I want you to make is the commitment to finding within yourself more value than you have found in the past. What does that mean? That means that when you start thinking about, well, if I leave him, no one else will love me the same way. That uh, if, if I go, then what if I don't find anyone? What if nobody loves me? that you find enough value in yourself to know that that is just a thought and it's not true, that you can find value, that you can be loved, that you can be treated with respect, that you can be treated with commitment, that you can be treated with the passion that you are bringing into the relationship. 
And if you commit to finding more value in you, then you'll be able to express it. But if you don't find it in yourself, he's probably not going to find it either. You have to know your worth before someone can step up sometimes and respect that worth. If you don't value yourself enough, then the person will treat you in the way you value yourself. And if that's not high, then it's not going to be great treatment. So how do you value yourself more? Commit more to the things that you are awesome at and get better at the things that you want to get better at as well. Not everything, but commit to finding the things that make you unique, the things that make you valuable, the things that make you creative, the things that make you radiant, the contribution that you bring to the table. Focus more on those things so that you know that you have something intrinsic in you that's worth treasuring and worth pursuing and worth committing to. You can't expect for a man to fall in love with you when you're not in love with your own life. It's a tall order to ask someone to do something you're not willing to do for yourself. Third commitment. Commit to expressing your needs more consistently and with more courage. Why? Because many times, I've seen this happen, women want something, they don't express it out of the fear that the guy will run away, they don't get it, he ends up running away at the end, but after two more years of unnecessary pain and soap opera drama. So when you know that you want certain things like children, like marriage, be willing to, from the beginning, bring that into the conversation. And if a guy doesn't want those things, don't waste your valuable time in the attempt to convert him to your religion of <laughs> familyism. Don't do that. Allow him to step into whatever kind of relationship he can get. But don't waste your time. Now, if you've not expressed it in the past, then have the courage to sit your man down and say, dude, we haven't talked about this for a while, but..." What are you seeking in this life? What are you seeking in a relationship? What are you seeking in, in, a, in a union, you know, with me? And have him speak and then you share what you're interested in creating and see if you're even aligned, if you're in the same planet or if you're going to two different places and it's better to cut your losses now than later. Fourth commitment. I want you to commit to walking away if your guy is unwilling to step up to the level of commitment that you are willing to make and willing to give and willing and, and need. If you need commitment, uh, uh, for example, marriage, and if you need, uh, if you want to have a family, and those are things that you're working towards. Doesn't mean it's going to happen that day, but you're working towards those things. And you got, and your guy has no idea what needs to happen for me to him to commit those things. He's really scared of commit of commitment. He's not willing to do the work. Then you're playing Russian roulette by staying with that guy. Committing to walking away doesn't mean you have to walk away. It means you have to be willing to do it because in conversation Guys sometimes will only do the thing they have to do when they have to do it So you have to walk the fine line between giving a, giving a guy a chance to show up in your life and bring value Understand who you are get to know you and know when it's time to either step up or step down You make that call and you have to be willing to honor it last commitment that I want you to make is the commitment to open your heart again and with more wisdom should you have to walk away from something that's not getting to where you want to go. Because the opposite of that would be you commit to walk away but then you walk with a closed heart and then you feel like the, this is bound to happen again and again. If you do things differently, if from the beginning you plant better seeds, if you have better communication, if you find your worth sooner and you express it, if you don't take crap and crumbs as meals, then more likely than not, you have way more chances to succeed in the future. So be willing to commit to reopening your heart again with more courage, with more wisdom, should the need arise if you walked away from someone who is unwilling, unable to give you the commitment that you're seeking. Hope this is helpful, insightful in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. If you want to learn how to enter the kind of relationship that you've been seeking for a while and you haven't been entering it, <laughs> if you haven't been finding that dude, there's reasons why. On the training that I created for you, you're gonna learn far more about that than you probably know right now. So all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video, enter your name and email when prompted, and you'll be taken to that training right away. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. And last but not least, if you're an intelligent woman who has a lot of things going for herself, but love isn't one of them, and you're tired of watching videos and you're tired of reading books and you're tired of running in circles and you want hand-holding and help, there's a second link on the description of this video where you can apply 
to figure out with me if we're a fit to work together so I can personally help you get what you're seeking. Thank you so much for connecting today and as always I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.